Hey guys, Cobra here. Welcome back to Diablo Immortal. All right. Very, very quick video today because I've seen many people get confused on which items are considered like an upgrade to their existing items and which are not. It's it's very easy, guys, to see. And in this game, unfortunately, or fortunately, the biggest contribution to power is your combat rating. So what the combat rating is, if you guys haven't checked before, is how your power fares to the content that you're trying to beat. So it, it basically states here the rating of monsters, uh, the combat rating of monsters. If you've got higher than that, then you will do more damage and receive less damage if it's, let's say, Hell 2 difficulty. As you go higher, so let's say if I switched on and went to Hell 3, you see that the recommended, by the way, combat rating is 2,120. If I go there, very quickly, you'll see the difference in terms of my combat rating. I'll check right here, click. And it says, um, because of my combat rating that is 202 lower, I will deal 63% less damage and receive 173% more damage, which is insane in terms of the difficulty that um, affects, you know, how quickly I farm, how, how quickly I will die from the hits. And of course, you see that more often when you do the, um, the challenges. The challenges is where the combat rating requirement just goes up and up with the higher levels that you're trying to beat. Anyway, going back to the upgrades, which items are considered an upgrade? You see my inventory right here, a very easy way to show you guys that I now have an upgrade sitting there and it's not the one with the up arrow. You see those, this one with the up arrow, although it does have a very minor boost to my combat rating, which is affected by these these values right here, these numbers that you see, 46 and 45, that's 91 compared to 82 here. I would gain very quickly nine combat rating by just equipping this belt. But this is not an upgrade for me because I have a set. This set boosts my damage by 15%. This is very simple to see. If you break your set and if you don't have an upgrade to the set that you have already on, it's not worth the nine combat rating because that 15% damage is huge especially for my continual damage that I, I need to drop down and just run away from the high hitting monsters that nine combat rating is not going to be equal to this boost right here so i will not break my set uh, which is this one right here the bravado untouchable mountain back whatever it's called set uh, that helps me absorb damage it, it doesn't make sense unless i get the same item it doesn't make sense another important thing is always on the left side at least to watch on the number of sockets that you have the number of sockets affects the power of the item, but the sockets are not all equal. The sockets can be red, they can be yellow, they can be blue. The red ones, you can put damage and health on, which is the most important stat that you want to have over everything else, assuming that you don't go for a PvP build. But the whole point of the upgrade that I want to show you is this shield. This shield is actually way stronger than the shield that I have equipped on right now. This shield that I have equipped on right now gives, is a triple triple, right? This one I got on Paragon level 17, which was way, way, way long ago, 40 Paragon levels. But I managed to get this shield a couple of days ago and this is a big upgrade. But I almost sold it because I didn't see the up arrow. I didn't need the up arrow though because it's it's stupid that you have to do the math. It, isn't, it doesn't show like a total here, but this is 126 combat rating boost and it gives me fortitude and strength, which is huge stats for my own class, which is the Crusader. This one gives 34 fortitude and 34 strength, but 34 willpower as well. That's a total of what, 101 combat rating compared to 126. So I already gain more than 20 combat rating just through this. And I also get a skill damage boost by 3%, slow resistance, doesn't do anything. The reason that this is so strong is because this one's a triple triple and that's why the system doesn't show it as an upgrade it doesn't show the new shield as an upgrade because of that right i also get extra little bit of damage extra about 50 damage because of the shield score right there but this one has a higher score because it has a triple skill magic stat right here so primary attacks have a nine percent chance to reduce enemy attack and movement speeds nine percent chance is very low it, it i don't do so many primary attacks with my crusader especially in um, in situations where I will get hit a lot, I try to run away instead of just hitting with my primary attacks. And it's and it's very, very low chance, 9%. And then, primary attack damage increased by 6%. Still not as important as all my other skills, will, which will be affected by the combat rating. And then critical hit chance increased by 3%. This is the biggest loss that I get here. Critical hit chance is very good to have, 
but it's not as easy as other games where you would get closer to 100%. In this game, it's hard to get even, you know, 50%. I'm currently running a 16% critical hit chance, and I will drop by 3% only because of the shield. So, remember uh, before with the combat rating, if we see here, I deal 63% less and take 173% more. I equip the shield, which doesn't have an up arrow, boom, just like that, and... My combat rating jumps to 1942, which is 20 plus combat rating than I had before. And then let's have a look at the actual damage that I'll be uh, dealing. So I deal 60% damage less now compared to before and receive 152% damage uh, more compared to before. This is an insane change. Let's have a look again. 173% and 63. Boom. This is the clear upgrade. So that's what I wanted to show through this video, guys. It's it's how important it is to actually see what you're you're trying to sell because not all stats are created equal. Let's say a, a very good indication of how bad this shield would have been if this didn't have, let's say, fortitude and strength. It had, um, you know, willpower and strength. It's still pure combat rating, but still I would lose out on a lot of health because fortitude is what gives you health. If you click right here, it says increases um, fortitude gives you armor sorry not health but fortitude helps you with surviving more strength helps you with doing more damage vitality is what gives you the health willpower is only um, your potency and resistance which is only helpful really for controlling other enemies or receiving less control so have that in mind when you see an item that has let's say a double stat uh, being willpower and strength here this is not ideal as the best item I can have on my um, on my helmet if it was the best it would have been uh, vitality and strength or again fortitude and strength that would be making me way more tankier than with willpower ideally a triple stat would have been strength vitality fortitude for the crusader it would give me way more boost compared to let's say willpower because i don't need it as much and for pvp situations it's also reduced by 50 percent so it doesn't change all that much having the extra willpower compared to just pure health uh, or you know pure damage through strength at least for crusader so this was the video guys have a clear look at your items before you sell them don't just depend on the up arrow that's not always the truth it's not always an upgrade if you have the up arrow it's not always an upgrade if you don't have it of course so make sure you do like a double check on your items before you sell them it's it's not as clear and I think like a total here would have made it more clear to players who, who are not so quick with math. Maybe they're just uh, going through very quickly all their gear. They're selling it. They're salvaging it. So make sure you check it, double check it, because you might miss an upgrade that's going to give you a nice little boost to both your damage and the damage you receive through combat rating, through stats, through everything. This was the video. If you found it helpful, consider subscribing. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.